Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will check the solenoid coil of a reversing valve. The tools needed will be an electrical tester and a screwdriver. We start by ensuring that we have 24 volts supplied to our coil or whatever the coil voltage is. In this instance, it's 24 volts. Yours may be 120 or 208. Once we have the coil supplied with the correct voltage, set your tester to volts AC. Use your test leads and ensure that you have 24 volts. We're just going to pretend that we do have 24 volts when we test this. Now, take care if you are working with a higher voltage not to electrocute yourself. To, actual to actually check the coil itself, we remove the nut and the plate. and then actually pull the coil out. Once we have the coil out and we're, when we still have our voltage supply, we use a screwdriver. We, we de try to detect a strong magnetic presence. If there's no magnetic presence, then the coil is bad. If you can feel it pulling on your screwdriver, it is good. Believe it or not, that is all there is to checking a reversing valve coil. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Please stay tuned while we introduce you to the super cool slide rule, guaranteed to save you time and money. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool, will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors rules and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for duct work, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The Supercool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.